entered into Radha Krishna's eternal pastimes in Vrindavan. When he was here in his Prokot Leela, he was preaching the glory of Shri Shri Radha Gopinath all over the world and now in his Aprakot Leela he has entered into the direct service of Shri Shri Radha Gopinath in Vrindavan. All of us beg for his mercy today that someday we also can enter into that Radha Govind Gopinath's eternal pastimes and assist him in his service to Sri Sri Radha Gopinath. <coughs> but now it is very painful for us that we will not get his direct association of his Boku. We won't get the days back when in 1977 in Sridham Vrindavan, Srila Gaur Govinda Maharaj came to see Srila Prabhupada. I very vividly remember that day when Srila Gaur Govinda Maharaj came to see Srila Prabhupada and that's the first time I met him. Srila Prabhupada spoke to him for a long time very intimately. I saw him as a very brilliant looking sannyasi. Maharaj was so humble that when he left, when he was about to leave Vrindavan after meeting Srila Prabhupada, Maharaj was actually planning to go to Mathura by bus, but somehow Prabhupada could foresee that and he sent me to find out from Gorgovinda Maharaj how he was going to Mathura. And when I came back to Srila Prabhupada and told him that he was planning to go there by bus, then Prabhupada said, no, 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 arrange a car for him. And Prabhupada asked us to take his car to drop Gorgovinda Maharaj to the railway station in Mathura. Srila Gaur Govinda Maharaj was an ideal devotee. He always wanted everything for Krishna, but he desired nothing for himself. And that is the sign, the most important sign of a pure devotee. We can see here in Bhubaneshwar, Srila Gaur Govinda Maharaj built this magnificent temple for Sri Sri Krishna Balaram, Jagannath Baladev Subhadra and Gaur Nitai and also for Sri Sri Radha Gopinath and Sriman Mahaprabhu. He lived in that small hut where he was living from the time we got this piece of land. For him, 
that heart was the most sacred and most important place here because that was the place where Srila Prabhupada, his dear spiritual master, lived when he came here. This kind of ideal, this kind of example is very rare nowadays. And Acharya teaches by his own example and Srila Gaur Govinda Maharaj taught all of us by his own example at every step. <coughs> he taught us how to be absorbed in Krishna consciousness every single moment. He never spoke about any mundane topic. He never indulged in any other frivolous discussion. Either he was silently thinking about Krishna in the, deep of, in the depth of his heart or he was simply speaking about Krishna for the benefit of all. And when he was preaching, he preached like a lion. Although his body was weak due to his weakness in the leg although he could hardly walk but when it came to, whenever it came to preaching he was roaring like a lion this is the sign this is the symptom of a person who is completely absorbed in Krishna Consciousness. His Consciousness was simply absorbed at the lotus feet of Sri Sri Radha Krishna. Although when it came to preaching, he was powerful as a lion, but at the same time his heart was soft as a rose. As His Holiness Bhakti Sarup Damodar Maharaj just mentioned that he was like a child. His heart was so pure. And when he laughed, it looked like with the purity of a child and the radiance of the sun. Whenever I met him, although I am much junior to him in all respects, but he treated me so affectionately as a younger brother, but at the same time he displayed so much respect which I did not deserve. In this way, we have seen Srila Gaur Govinda Maharaj as an ideal example of Trinadopi Sunichena Tarodopi Shohishnuna Amanina Manadena Kirtaniya Sadahari. I remember those days when here in Bhubaneshwar all we had was a small temple in a hut and a few huts for devotees to live in. The construction was going on, but the situation here was very simple and humble. Not many devotees were here at that time. Some of you are still here. For example, Sachinandan Prabhu is one of them who were here at that time very, very close to Srila Gaur Govinda Maharaj and serving him with a lot of sincerity and love. But whenever we came, Maharaj was so concerned that we have a nice place to stay, 
we got some nice prasad he would immediately call sadhu prabhu and tell him to make some nice prasadam for us in this way he showered his affection upon us bhagavat prabhu was here at that time who also was very very fond of <coughs> shila gaur govinda maharaj and the memories of those days are very deeply impressed upon my mind today we have been deprived of shila gaur govinda maharaj's physical association and in this respect i remember the days when we were deprived of shila prabhupad's physical association about 19 years ago in iskon after shila prabhupad's disappearance this is the first time we are experiencing this biraha this intense feeling of separation from a pure devotee of the lord in this respect i remember one day when shila prabhupad mentioned that he was going to leave the planet i was serving him and when he said that i started to cry then prabhupad very affectionately told me is this what i taught you is this what you learned didn't i teach you that we are spirit soul and the spirit soul never dies and then tell shila prabhupad told me for a loyal disciple the spiritual master always remains with him within his heart later on i realized that shila prabhupad left this planet in order to taste our faith and our loyalty towards his lotus feet the spiritual master manifests himself in front of his disciples eyes so that he can see him so that he can hear him so that he can serve him and in this way develop his loving relationship with him then at some point the spiritual master disappears from the vision of his disciples so that the disciples searching where my spiritual master is moves forward towards the lotus feet of shri shri radha krishna and a loyal disciple sincere disciple <coughs> will see that the spiritual master is always there in his heart although he has disappeared from his vision but he is there in his heart and he is always guiding him that is why it is a test those who are loyal he will find his spiritual master more intimately but those who are not loyal they will go away today we all are facing that test it's actually the beginning of that test and if we sincerely accept our spiritual master in our heart we will find that he is still there and he is always prepared to guide us whenever we need him need his guidance 
and at the same time he's always watching us how sincerely we are practicing krishna consciousness careful that we do not ever think that now that our spiritual master has gone away now i can do anything i want and in this way <coughs> deviate from the wonderful path of krishna consciousness today i pray to the lotus feet of shri lagor govind maharaj that he continues to shower his mercy his blessings and his affection upon all of us and we can move forward in this wonderful path of krishna consciousness back to godhead back to golok vrindavan pancha kalpa tar bhashya kripa sindhu bhayega cha patitana pavane pro vaishnava pranam namo om vishnu padaya krishna prishthaya bhutale श्रीमते गोल गोविंद स्वामी नीति नामिने नमो ओम विष्णु पदाय कृष्ण पृष्ठाय भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी नीति नामिने नमस्ते सरस्वती देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिने निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चात दशतारिने श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधार शिवाशनि गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम राम राम